Mark Raybert is an expert in robotics, and his work gives him a unique insight into what might have caused Millennium Man to use two feet rather than four. We're very interested in the relationship between the robots we build and, ha and biology, how people and animals work when they locomote. And the relationship between those has two parts. There's what looking at the knowledge about animals uh, tells us when we're trying to design robots. But there's also an opportunity to use what we learn about building robots to help in understanding how people and animals work. Developed at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology in the USA, Mark built some of the most extraordinary striding robots ever seen, and with a variety of layouts. Some were bipedal, while others were quadrupeds. And this innovative technology hints at what may have driven evolution millions of years ago. One of the things we found out is that it was much easier to build a robot with fewer legs than with more legs. So a biped was much easier to develop and to make work than a quadruped. Uh, largely because the complexity of coordinating the legs was reduced, the mechanical complexity was reduced by not having all the additional uh, mechanisms and actuators. A two-legged animal such as Ororin has some clear advantages over a four-legged one. With fewer limbs to control, it can transport itself successfully yet use less of its body to achieve the task. It also uses its natural instability to its advantage. It's highly maneuverable and extremely agile. On top of this, of course, the animal is able to use its hands at all times. It's probably a combination of all these advantages that allowed Millennium Man to survive and pass his unique adaptation down to us.